Yeah. TV sound system, you know what it is, select hype live and direct. We are at the O2 Academy Birmingham full hundred event is about to take place. It's already taking place. It's kicking off crazy out there. The people them are coming in abundance. So we have to get the big stars, the headliners them as early as possible. Now the last time I interviewed this real, real general, it was the morning after. It totally destroyed the dance. Now I'm interviewing him before the event. No other than the man himself. If you're looking in the camera right about now and do not know, you must be living on another planet because this guy has captivated reggae music in such a serious way. He's still continuously going on and he is live and direct inside the building. Rory Stone, how are you doing? Nice to be here. It's nice to see you again. The last time I saw him wore the same scarf and this scarf, <laughs> as you may know, was not given to me by his majesty. Uh, so I wanted to now. Is that, is, that, is that your good luck scarf? Yeah. No, it's not. Like, so that's left in London the last night at my sister's house. Well, like I said, last time you came over here, you came and represented on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a crazy level, a crazy vibes. Um, what are we, we going to expect from Rory Stone? Well, I'm, a, I'm a expecting that goes what's happening at the moment. I can't, um, whenever, whenever I, I dance or whatever I'm doing right now, there's many, many DJs, you can't say, well, I'm going to play this. You, you, you're having a laugh if you're thinking that you're just directly go up there and do what you do. If it works, it works. If it don't work, it don't work. It's a good days and it's a bad days. Any slip will any slip will tell the same thing. So it, um, it's harder for me to have because it's, I'm not gonna beat this. It's a stone of Anton. I'm not gonna beat that one there. You know, so it's harder for me instead. So I just do me and work off inspirations. And and what is it about the UK that like gives you the vibes every time you come to the UK? Because I mean, that's a well, I was like, born really, here. I was, okay. born, I was born here. I was born mm. in South London. Um, so what's the vibes in like for the UK compared to all the different places that you play around the world? Um, I like the blackness of the UK when 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 you when you do meetings. Um, anytime you're, you're on like the seventies, I grew up in the seventies, so I grew up in a really pro-black environment. So um, the actual blackness of the UK when you do meet, like my good friend Daddy Ernie and his beautiful wife, mm -hmm. like, and my good friend is better the other day. I mean, it's, it's just like that that blackness that I enjoy. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm being racist, but I just enjoy that blackness. Mm -hmm. as a, well, as a, as a, I'm a garbage mm -hmm. Away from selecting and, and all the things that we do, like I said, go and check out the previous video interview that I did with Rory. I think it's coming around 23, 24,000 views, so thank you so much. Did I get the money? I gave you a t-shirt, that's actually cool. We're representing, man. <laughs> but away from the music, let's talk production, because you, you was kind of like starting the whole production thing, working with Janine. Um, since then, which would have been about two, three years ago, four years. Uh, how's the progress been in terms of production wise? Um, it's it's, what, getting, going it's getting noticed now. Um, it was hard at first because um, it was a very, very critical production I, w I was doing. Um, it's hard to get noticed, um, so I'm getting noticed now. But at the same time, you have to understand the formula of today's youth. Mm -hmm. This one I'm kind of understanding now. Um, the youth of today speak a different language than what we spoke growing up, so you have to directly. My next one is a sister called Rackham Jones, okay. and we've decided now to put it in a youth form related to the kids are right now. And Rackham Jones um, is a lead singer for a group called Fifi Corporation in these things. Okay. Okay. So they're, they're like back stadiums and stuff, and she's from Portland, so basically. Um, Doing this project right now, which is, which is very, 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 very exciting for me. Still, okay. Um, doing that also, doing Samuel's new next album for next year. Wow. The tracks already been built, so it's something I didn't know. Um, doing it from Alicia Scott from Cardiff, um, a kind of 70s type of feel, much I need to look more. What I grew up knowing, like hectic and things like that. You understand? So, that type of vibe I'm trying to bring back for that. And still being so, so long in the business, still headlining these main attractions. I've got green here now. <laughs> Likewise. Yeah. How do you see like the dancehall thing change? And how has it changed for you? How, where, what direction can you see going in right now? I mean, now? It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna change. I mean, we, gonna, if you think to go back to, I right, soon go full circle. I mean, I'm talking full circle. No, 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 full circle. It keeps on changing. The youths the youth are different. Now they're stabbing each other. Um, the next generation might be doing something else, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna keep on evolving. Um, I think the most important key right now is black parenting. Mm -hmm. Like what we had in the 70s, get your ass beaten, you know. I think um, parenting right now is probably the most, it's the strongest thing right now for a black family right now. Mm -hmm. It used to be a parent. I mean, like, 
I had my first kid was like 17, 18. I was, I was ready to be a parent, so I could understand, understand things. Like that. So right now, I think that schools right now should really teach kids how to be a parent from an early age right now. Mm -hmm. It's a very important aspect. And then, and like, kind of stepping away from the whole music thing and like talking about parentage and, and what's going on in the social media uh, world, I'm sure you've seen the situation with Kanye West and, and the words and terms how he put things across. I mean, as a sound man, a music man, a black man coming from Jamaica, what, what's your kind of like views on it? Have you seen it? Do you take notes of that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really see I didn't really see it. I was so busy. I was um, caught in Sam right before I left. I was, you know, I had some so many sessions. I didn't really get a uh, full understanding of what was going on. The only thing I got was the dragon energy. That's the only thing I understood still. Um, Do you think it's important for an artist to be honest then? I think honesty is in, in any individual is very very important. I mean, just be just be you. I mean, don't don't go and like you can you can well kind of want a part of the Red Sea. Yeah, you know so let's just just be honest. Mm -hmm. Just just be you. And advice for all of the selectors who are coming out now. You know, some of them call them laptop coaches. Some of them are starting to build sound system. I mean, to be in your predicament right now and, and the years that you put in to still be here with thousands of people waiting for you to just grace the stage right now, what advice would you give to them to be in a position like where you are right now? I think it's, it's amazing right now. You could just buy a laptop and I could check out and say, yo, give me a playlist and the playlist and let's go up there, let's chat some bullshit and collect some money. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's better buy records and if you miss the record, and uh, you know, you're, you're all fucked up. But uh, it's different now. <laughs> Um, so, so would be the advice for them to get it on, on a level where you are right now? Um, I don't think somebody can tell somebody how to play music. That, that's, that's being a bastard. I think, do you? What makes you happy? I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I suggest that you should do this. Like, oh, well, why not? Yeah, nobody told me that when I was growing up. So I ain't gonna tell somebody how to, how to do their thing. Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll say to you, this, please your crowd. Yes, and that's most I, 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 I'm not gonna preach until nobody like 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 um um like um Moses and I, I can't tell you how to live your life. I'll say we all grow up knowing right and wrong. That, that's my motto. You know right, you know wrong. Well we're not gonna take up too much more of your time. Yeah, we're not gonna get no t-shirt, no money, nothing. <laughs> 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 we're gonna hook you up again, definitely, definitely. Okay, thank so you so much for taking up. the time out. We're at full hundred O2 Academy Birmingham. Shout out to the Reggae Girls, everybody who's who's tuning in, remember, hit that subscribe button, you know what it is. There's one thing I'd like to say, that's one thing I like, that's one thing I'd like to say before I go to Um Black DJs, unite. The more, the more you can keep Play with black brothers and sisters, it's better for the black community. So, I'm gonna tell you, so try forget the bullshit and try to keep parties for yourselves. But the white man might be crying now, so we're gonna try and do it. So, see, try, try, keep one of the you get left behind. Trust me. Yes, after the last word, man. We're out, one piece.